definitely my motivation. I want to be out there and compete against the best athletes and the best competitors in the world. I want to be a part of that. B.J. Johnson saved one like that. Now he's the recipient of the save this time from Gabe York. Seven to play. Fair oh. Oh. Throw it down oh. with a one-hand slam. And look at this play. Throw it down, big man. Right on the head of Devin Davis. I grew up in South Memphis. Um, I went to, started off elementary, going to like Stafford and Hamilton and transferred to School Sherwood, so that's all like South Memphis, Orange Mound, um, in that area, Southeast Memphis. I played basketball for the first time when I was like six, outside, you know what I'm saying, just outside in the neighborhood hooping with uh, with guys. My next door neighbor is a guy named Ernest, uh, and, and across from me was a guy from Milwaukee named Raymond, and we used to go outside and play every day. Now it's a different type of pressure in Memphis. Like if you're a kid from Memphis or any hometown kid, you know what I mean? It's a different type of pressure. Whereas you wanna, you don't get to just be the kid learning how to play and, and, and becoming whatever you're gonna be like. They expect it right then. Like, and you, they, they might not even be expecting it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, in your mind, they expect it. So that's that like that was a big thing for me and for a lot of the other guys that were on my team we had at least seven guys from memphis on that team and but we accepted i accepted it and man it was i had a great time playing at the university of memphis unfortunately i was only there for well i was there for three months but i was there for preseason the preseason training and then i broke my hand in the first game um in the first game of our, of our season. So after I broke my hand, I stayed around for a few weeks and then they sent me on home. So I went back home, worked at a bank, worked out every day. After I finished working at the bank, I go back and work out again, take care of my little girl. And man, I ended up getting another call to go to Czech Republic. I think it's boosted my confidence, you know what I'm saying, to the max. One of, like all of those experiences were great. The one that probably molded me the most has been Japan. Just because their man, it made me, it gave me so much structure. Like I've always been pretty structured, but we had practice twice a day. In order for me to get a lift in and work out in the morning, I had to work out early in the morning. We had to be at the gym like 6 a.m. And it's just by yourself, training yourself. Nobody else is in there with you. You gotta go in there and do your work. So if I wanted to continue to try to do what I want to do, you know what I mean? I had to really go in there and put work in. If I don't feel good, you know what I mean? Then what's the point? I only get to play this game for so long. I mean, so in my mind, that time made me understand like, damn, you really don't feel good. You could do all of this stuff. You could be focused as you want to, but if you're not pursuing your dreams, then you're not going to feel good. So that's how I decided, like, I feel best when I, I feel like I'm going the path that I know that's best for me. Shot clock, Lemon. Nice feed and a one-hand finish for Farrakhan Hall. Delivering. I want to be able to be a, a piece of the puzzle, a chess piece or however you want it. I want to be a tool. So that's why I try to train myself that way. Uh, the game moved towards four men who could stretch the floor, um, running the pick and pop, pick and rolls. I tried to grasp all of those things and, and make myself that so that I could be a part of it. At the end of the day, I get to play a game that I love and I get paid for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got the best job in the world. I say that, we say that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Our coaches say that all the time. back and forth the last couple of minutes just be your best self you know what i'm saying just be your best self that's i had that when i was in like i said when i was in japan i had it written on a sticky note outside of my door every day you know what i'm saying and it just was a constant reminder to be my best self and that's all you could do you gotta go with happiness man for yourself 
got to be happy within yourself and it, it can be selfish but at the end of the day it can be unselfish because it'll pay off and i feel like it'll pay off if it, even if it doesn't even if i don't get called up in the end or if i don't end up going to the nba i know that i put my best foot forward i was my best self so that's just what it is you know what i mean and however it plays out i know that i'll move on from this i'm going to continue to be the same strong person strong will I mean, probably not as stubborn in my next adventure, but, you know, with this right here, this is my heart, so this is what I put it into, I mean, and I think that anybody who out there has dreams and whatever, aspirations, man, go after your shit, you know what I mean, but really go after it, though, don't bullshit it, like, every day, you know what I mean, put your best foot forward and going and being your best self, and that's it, so...